reincarnation or resurrection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for February 8, 2022, according to St. Mark. Then some Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him, and they asked him, saying, Teacher, Moses brought to us that if a man's brother dies, and leaves his wife behind, and leaves no children, his brother should take his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first took a wife, and dying he left no offspring. And the second took her, and he died, nor did he leave any offspring. And the third likewise, and the seven had her, and left no offspring. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, when they rise, whose wife will she be? For all seven had her as wife. Jesus answered and said to them, Are you not therefore mistaken, because you do not know the Scriptures nor the power of God? For when they rise from the dead, they neither ma marry nor are they given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. But concerning the dead, that they rise, have you not read in the book of Moses, in the burning bush passage, how God spoke to him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. You are therefore greatly mistaken. Glory be to thee, O God. Glory be to thee. We have all sorts of um, traditions where the simple people make totems, make you know, monuments, mausoleums, thinking that there is a netherworld of the dead, and they remain dead. And unfortunately, we see a degeneration of priest theologians, a great majority of Jesuits and uh, Franciscans and the like, that looking for some sort of meditation technique, they have strayed into the yoga, into Buddhism, into Hinduism, and thus they even promote that. What has happened is that nowadays there is a widespread culture that they say that we reincarnate, and that is a heresy and a terrible one at that. There is no reincarnation. There is life eternal for each one of us. Now, whether we are rebel like those Sadducees today in the Gospel, or we hear and heed the Lord, it's up to us, it's up to you. If you obey, you will be blessed in tribulation while still living in this world. But if you rebel, you will be cursed. You will curse yourself, because then you will live not according to God and what is good, but according to your whims. And in the end, when you arise along with the, with the believers, you will be condemned, because you were rebel. And thus you will suffer eternally in the presence of God, which we could say will burn you every single day of eternity. And for those of us who try to be faithful to God, and even in our wickedness and weaknesses, we remain together following the steps of the, of the Lord, we are hoping for mercy, and we are letting Him change us in the way that we live. It's up to you to choose. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.